I know about all that. Well, you gotta know the truth. The truth comes from the Bible. God set the truth in place, not man. Just like, for instance, homosexuality, man, man being with men, women being with women. The world says it's okay now. God laws don't say that. You understand that? All right, so the Bible gonna tell you what the truth is. That's what I'm. That's what I'm constantly over there telling you. I said to you, I said, what do you think all the answers are? Didn't I say that to you? I asked you that, and you said it here. But I tell you all the answers are in the Bible, and I'm gonna prove it to you because I just asked you, what is the truth, right? It said the truth gonna make you free out of the Bible, right? Watch this. The book of Psalm, chapter one nineteen, verse one forty two. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. What's the truth? Thy righteousness is our law. Read it again. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and the law is the truth. What's the truth? Law. According to what? According to the Bible. You see that? Was that easy? That was easy, right? That's what I'm trying to show you so many different times about how what the bible who is for um where we where we um where we come from who we are all of that is in the bible and you have to sit down and read it i'll be taught by learned men to show you and matter of fact give me nehemiah 8 and 8 and to show you those things great those easy things that i just said who you are how do we get to this land where's our homeland all of those answers are in the bible because those questions are in our people mind Watch this. The book of Nehemiah, chapter 8, verse 8. So they read in the book of the law of God distinctively. Very carefully, clearly, precise, and was patient with it. That's what we're doing to make sure you understood what was the truth. We read it again so you can hear what was the truth. That's reading distinctively. You see that? Read it again. So they read in the book of the law of God distinct, distinctively. Oh and gave the sins and caused them to understand the reading you see what's happening we giving the sense and causing you to understand the reading or the writing what's written in here that's why this whole book was written for you to understand what is written in here this book ain't just to go say hey hallelujah and i believe in god because you see a bible in my dashboard or am i no it's way bigger than that man prophecies are in here from the past, things that God said was going to happen. Uh, but today, God said things are going to happen. And in the future, God said things are going to happen. Are all written in this Bible. What every nation, every person walking on this earth is in this Bible. But we say God love everybody. But God said he have a special people he loves. That's in this Bible. You see what I'm saying? So that's where the different teachings come from. To where you got to know the truth. The truth comes from the Bible. God set the truth in place. Not man. Just like, for instance, homosexuality, man, man being with men, women being with women. The world says it's okay now. God laws don't say that. You understand that? You see, that goes right back to how plain it is to understand the Bible. They read and give you the sense to understand. <laughs> Matthew 9 and 9 real quick. Matthew, I mean John chapter 19 verse 19. 
And then I, I'll tell you the next one next. Step for nine, three and nine, three and eight, I want as well. Two more things we was talking about. Two more things we talked. I want to make two more points, and then I get your question. Okay. Great. One other thing we talked about was translation. You see what I'm saying? Translation means just mean is that can, can we get this mic up? What's going on? It sound good to y'all? Yeah. It sound good? Okay. Translation just means from one tongue or language to another tongue or language. Watch this. John 19 verse 19. And Pilate wrote a, a title and put it on the cross. So we're talking about Jesus Christ being hung on the cross. Can you picture that in your mind? He, him being hung on the cross. That's what we're reading. You follow me? And the writing was. And the what? And the writing was. So now it's a writing up over his head. Just like if he was Christ and there's a writing on a platform over his head. Read. Jesus of Nazareth. So that's what was written on there. Jesus of Nazareth. The king of the Jews. So what was written on there? Good, good, good. Watch this. This title then read many of the Jews. So the many of the Jews read this title that was placed on their board, right? Watch this. For the place where Jesus was crucified was nigh unto unto the city. You listening? Come on. And it was written in Hebrew. Wait a minute. We got this loud truck over here. Read it. Read it again. And it was. Okay, can you hear Greg? Greg, we'll give him one. We'll give him one. I know about outlet. I'm that right, guy. I want you to pay attention, Greg. Come on. And it was written in Hebrew and Greek and Latin. Then said the chief. And it was written in Hebrew. It's written in one language called Hebrew. And it read Jesus of Nazareth. Great, 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 great. It was written on a platform Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews. And it was written in what? In Hebrew. So one language was written. It was written in Hebrew. Read. And Greek. It was written in Greek. Read. And Latin. It was written in three different languages. And it all said the same thing. That makes sense? So what what you think now about translation? Just from one language to another. Give me that in uh Zephaniah chapter three. In verse 8. Now with something else you said as well, Greg. Your kids know Hebrew. They say the prayer in Hebrew. Right? The Lord's prayer in Hebrew. Now watch this. I want to show you out of the Bible that we do not speak that language today. Yes, sir. 3 and 8. You're, you're at the right place. We do not speak that language today. And I'm proving to you out of the Bible. Watch this. Come on, Greg. The book of Zephaniah, chapter 3 and verse 8. Therefore, Wait he upon me. He said, do what? Wait he upon me. God said, wait on me. Read. Save the Lord. Until the day I raise up to the prey. For my this. Okay, so now he said, wait on me until I raise up my what? Read it again. Take your time. I raise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the, the nation that I may. You see that? Come on. That I may assemble the kingdom to pour unto them my indignation. So he want to punish all of the nations for what they did to the children of Israel. That's what God want to do. All the other nations who have put the children of Israel into slavery. And to have them paying retribution. And to have them paying uh, taxes and building up their lands. He said he gonna he want to gather them together to pour his indignation. He want to punish them. Read. For all, even all my fierce anger. He want to put his fierce anger on them. Read. For all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. No. For then. For what? For then. So after God do that, so has that happened yet? Has he punished all the nations yet? With indignation? Okay, great. Now watch this. For what? For then. So after I do that, then something's going to happen. Remember I said in this book, is things that have happened in the past, the present, and the future. So this is what he's saying in the future, read. 
for then will I turn to the people. Listen, Greg. Okay. A pure language. What well, he gonna return to us? Do we have a pure language right now? If God said he gonna give it to us, then after he destroyed the nation, are we speaking a pure language now? That's what I'm trying to tell you about your kids speaking that language, my brother. That's not the pure language. We don't have it. We can't go against prophecy and think that we're we right and God wrong. That makes sense. That's why I said we're going to read in the book of the law. We're going to read in the book and give the sense unto the people. That's what's supposed to happen. So whatever you're reading, if it's not giving you the truth and the understanding plainly, it's not right. Nation is men leading by example. 